Connecticut Children's Medical Center touches the lives of thousands of patients and their families. For 17-year-old Nikki, her sister Lindsay, and parents Amy and Randy, Connecticut Children's has changed their lives. We thought she had the flu and we brought her into Connecticut Children's just as a precaution. We actually thought we would get some antibiotics and be on our way. She was sitting up in bed. She looked very scared and anxious. She just looked overwhelmingly sick. Within a matter of a couple hours in the pediatric intensive care unit, we realized that uh, Nikki's condition wasn't just a medical problem. It was something that would require emergency surgery. A one in a million series of events caused five-year-old Nikki to have a fast-moving bacterial infection in her abdomen. Her first surgery lasted 22 hours. We were devastated by what we saw. They describe her situation as pouring gasoline on her stomach and lighting a match. They didn't know if she would survive. So within the first three weeks of her hospital stay, she probably went to the operating room probably about 15 times. Nikki lost two-thirds of her diaphragm, a kidney, large intestine, and muscles in her back and leg needed for walking. Doctors didn't know if she would ever walk again, if she would ever breathe on her own again. And thankfully, she was able to overcome most of her medical obstacles. After 225 days in the hospital, Nikki was able to go home. Over the past 12 years, her road to recovery continues with the very special collaborative approach to care Connecticut Children's provides. I had a lot of physical therapy and I had to relearn how to do almost everything. So I had to learn to breathe on my own again. I had to learn to talk. I had to learn to sit up, eat, everything. Doctors actually thought I wouldn't be able to walk because I didn't really have the muscles. I had to compensate for it and I found a new way to walk. To first get her up walking when we were down in the PICU, it took a respiratory therapist, a nurse, a doctor, physical therapist, and mom. So no one entity can do any of this on their own. We need each other. I think Connecticut Children's has this kind of very uh, kind of unique characteristic of being fairly small, extremely accessible, and yet has a fantastic depth of surgical skills and um, personalities and can kind of handle challenging cases like Nikki's. There's so many departments that knew Nikki when she was five and now they see her at 17 and it makes them feel good to see the success of all their hard work. None of this success is possible without the support of our donors. Without donor support, without uh, the equipment, without the facilities, uh, without the specialists, Nikki would not be the person she is today. We used a very special spinal instrumentation for her, and things like this are very, very costly, and I don't think you can deliver the level of care necessary without donor support. I wouldn't be here today without the technology that they had back then, and even since then, I've seen how it's progressed so much, and so I can only imagine what great things can be done. We really need the help to carry out the mission, and the mission is to do for the kids of Connecticut, what we do for Nicole or any other child in this hospital 24-7, every day of the year. Nikki will graduate high school on time with high honors and plans to study healthcare management at the University of Connecticut. It's gratifying to see that with all that effort, you have a beautiful young woman and a great family that's very grateful to the hospital and to everybody that's supported them. Nikki is incredibly unique. Uh, her spirit is, is just wonderful. I would just like to thank everyone at Connecticut Children's Medical Center. They have made this place kind of like a second home for me, and I consider them family and love them like family members. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them, and so I just thank them from the bottom of my heart for everything that they've done to help me get better. One of a kind in some ways, but in some ways she's not one of a kind. She's common to what we do. She just happens to stick out as an amazing example of what can happen when we pull that all together. We're so lucky to have this facility right here in Hartford, and if it wasn't for Connecticut Children's, I don't know if Nikki would be here today. Really, the donors and their generous support help make miracles happen 
every day and we are so grateful and blessed that Nikki's here with us today because of their support. Mm -hmm.